my sewing friends. Couple of things I forgot. I'm Jen and this is my sewing room where I forgot a couple of things for Friday, which is crazy because I came up with the things. One is an addition to my top five makes of 2021. How could I have forgotten this? I don't know how I did. It was on my list, but I went right by it. And it is this dress, which is the entry I had for the Frugal Frocks Challenge on Instagram. That was hosted by Sam at Frugalissima and Rian from Yorkshire Sew Girl. And this is the wide strap maxi by lb textiles you can find it for free in peppermint magazine and i made it from a shower curtain no kidding it was one i had in my stash i don't know it was one of those things where some kid had gotten rid of it from an apartment they lived in and i thought that is too pretty to give away i'm gonna keep that yeah well you should because this is what can happen this is probably my favorite make of 2021 although it is not the one I reach for the most often and that's because I'm very picky about the way things fit me I don't know what it is I have surrounded myself like my mom and my husband are this way a couple of my kids are this way where I'm, they're very exacting about things and what bugs me about this dress is that my bra shows my bra straps show now you know if I were a less picky person I doubt I'd care <laughs> but I put these little uh, keepers in right here uh, to keep my bra straps kind of corralled. <laughs> uh, so anyway, this is a beautiful dress and I love it and I should wear it more often to be honest. I should and stop caring so much about the fuzzy little things that I care about. I am not a fuss budget. I, my husband is the fuss budget. Okay. The other thing that I forgot to tell you is the topic for this Friday. First Friday of the new year for us. And uh, the topic is the top three things that you want to tackle in 2022. And obviously these are sewing things. So let me tell you mine. But before I do, let me say, I am not a resolution maker. I just think it's pointless. For a person like me who can't even keep a calendar, it's stupid. It's just, I failed so many times. I finally learned, okay, Jen, you can't do that. You will not keep track. You will not remember. You don't do very many things consistently. Okay, well, we are our own worst critics and you can take that for what it is, but I do know that about myself. So I just don't even bother to resolve things. But there are three things that I came up with that I want to tackle in 2022. And here they are. First of all, sew for others. You know what? There are only so many things I can sew for myself that will fit in my closet. And I love what Michelle from Michelle Sews Again has talked about and done. I will link the video to it right up here in the cards. She stopped making clothes or she kind of did a purge. I don't think she stopped making clothes. She, uh, she got rid of things to make room for new things when she ran out of hangers. I love that idea. I'm totally stealing that idea. So I need to do a closet purge because there are things in my closet that I don't wear as much that I have made and I would like to make more things, but I am resolving that the hanger capacity is the limit. So that in mind, I would like to make more things for others. I mean, right off the top of my head, I can think I want to make circle skirts for my girls. I have my oldest that I, there's a dress I found that I want to make for her. And I want to make um, some other cardigans for her. My fourth, I want to make more yoga stuff. My youngest, I don't even know how old some of the stuff in her closet is, but she needs some new stuff. Um, my third one, yeah, you know what? I could go on and on, but... Suffice it to say, I would really like to sew uh, markedly more, like a lot, like probably 30 to 40% of the sewing that I do, I want to be for somebody else because I have so many people in my life that I can sew for. That's number one. Number two, I want to sew more non-clothing things. In my house, in your house, in all of our houses, in all of our lives, there are tons of things that we need that we could sew that don't have anything to do with putting them on our bodies, except maybe hats and gloves and that kind of stuff. But you know what? 
I have a lot of stuff that I really want to sew that are not clothing. For example, I talked about these packing cubes when I was doing their regular Friday sews, that kind of stuff, you know, little things that I run across that I need. I need entirely new uh, kitchen mitts and pot holders. My pot holders are all, oh, what is it about pot holders? <laughs> you know what? I don't care about pot holders. But I mean, stuff like that. So, you know, those little headbands that you put on your head when you get in the shower and you don't want to get your hair wet or when you're washing your face. You know, little towel wraps that are so nice for the uh, the pool or the beach or really if you're a college kid or you have a college kid in your life and they have to go down the, I don't know that they do this anymore, but maybe they share a bathroom with some other people and they, they want a towel that stays put when they put it on. You know, stuff like that. Those are just some examples. But I want to do some non-clothing things. Now, I'm thinking that's only going to be maybe 10% of what I do because I do love to make clothing. I just love it. So, um, and then the third thing is that I want to find ways to inspire you rather than to accomplish things. And by that, what I mean is I'm not a very good teacher. I stumble over my words. I get concept turned around. I'll, I get ahead of myself and I'll say, and you, and you need to do this. And then, you know, like whoever it is I'm teaching will go, well, wait a minute. Yeah, I run into that a lot because I'm just not as great a teacher as I am a connector. So what I want to focus in on in 2022, especially with regard to my YouTube videos, is to say, I tried this technique and these people have perfected teaching it to you. They have tutorials. So they are here, they're down in the description box, they're, you know, all manner of places. I really want to do that because my channel is about creating community in the sewing community. Whether you make videos, whether you sew things, whether you watch videos, whether you don't have any idea what all this is about at all, you just logged onto YouTube because you needed to know how to make a pocket or, you know, I don't know, do some sewing thing. So I want to inspire you. I want to connect you with people that are excellent teachers and can tell you how to do things rather than trying to show you myself. Often, these will be things that I've done and I had to go look up and try. And so I can tell you where the best tutorials are. Or, yeah, the best tutorials, I think. Yeah, in my view. So, those are my things that I want to tackle and accomplish in 2022. They're really broad which is good. I don't need a detailed list. I just need to kind of aim a direction and go. And here's my shower curtain dress. Thanks for sticking with me in this bumper Friday sews. And if you want to watch the regular Friday sews, look over here. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.